deadline here we're going to go over how I converted a PC gamepad over to a Commodore 64 joystick <laughs> Today I'm going to talk about an old project I did where I converted a DEXA 963004-00 control pad to a gamepad for use with the Commodore 64 or other Atari compatible joystick ports. These old school gamepads can still be found on eBay for around 10 bucks. You can purchase controller extensions for the Atari style joysticks on Amazon for around $10. So for around $20 or less, you could have this type of gamepad up and running for use on your classic systems. Or if you have the stuff just laying around, there's no cost involved. You can buy adapters that can do this, but if you got the stuff laying around and you don't want to spend any money, this is one way to do it. I know what you're thinking. Deadline? Why don't you just buy a new controller? There's plenty of people that make them. And you're right, there are. And one of the best ones that I've seen around is by Retro Game Boys. And if you go to RetroGameBoys.com, that's with a Z, you'll see it's an eBay listing of all the different controllers that he makes. Really cool stuff. They're all branded with different Atari and um, Commodore and Amiga logos. So you should go support them. But if you don't have a whole lot of money and you're just wanting to work with some things that you already have laying around well this is the video for you all right so where were we oh yes I bought this at a thrift store I don't know how long ago but I've had it for years and it just, just was sitting there for a while until one day I was like I'm gonna make this gamepad work with my 64 and so I did and what I did was I got an old Atari Commodore 64 joystick port cable off of one of my broken joysticks and uh, then I wired it up on the inside. <clears throat> so why don't we take that apart and I'll show you what it looks like. So. This is the first thing you see when you open it up. So yeah, it's sliding out pretty easy. When you're dealing with these game pads, you want to make sure that you're real careful when you're taking it apart. These little rubber pads will fall out and all the keys on the front will just fall everywhere. It looks like they're put on there in such a way to where they're not going to come off if these are opened up. Which is kind of cool that they had that kind of design. Let's take a closer look at this circuit. Um, we got five different connections plus the ground that we need to make. Up, down, left, right, fire, and ground. The gamepad that you have may be different, so just keep that in mind. You'll notice that I cut off two of the transistors on the front side of the board. Those aren't necessary. All you really need are ground connections to the up, down, left, right fire circuits. And while we got this thing open, I'm going to go ahead and add a jumper so that the up button is going to be pressed when you hit the second button and the way you do that is you connect the number two and five pins up at the top and we're also going to clean this up a little bit before we put it back together And so yeah, that's pretty much it. And let's put this back together. I 
All right, and so now we got it put back together. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to test it out on a real Ultimate 64. And that is the FPGA version of the Commodore 64. Let's load a game or something. Um, what game should we play? Let's do a random one and see what happens. love this game. There we go. Alright, well Joyport 2 worked. Oops. Was I supposed to have hit down to go up? Oh, I remember you got to get up to a certain airspeed. I think 100 it was. And then once you did that, then you could take off without crashing. Oh, yes. And you can shoot, you can lower your guy and move around. And then if you press the button and hold down, it will drop a bomb. You want to try to line it up so that it damages the factories, the roads, and whatnot. Ah, he was over too far. I'm a little slow tonight on these. But then it's been probably 10 years since I played this game. Now there should be landing strips coming up to where I can land and get fuel. There we go. So you line up the shadow. Ooh, and I came in too hard. And this game over. And it was just that over and over. And you just tried to see how far you could get with it. Oh, really? Oh, I got him. There's another one. Oh man. I am way too slow on this stuff tonight. There we go. Finally got a building. Oh. Oh man. Just not getting the timing right on those bomb drops. Alright, well, I guess I'll come in and try to land this time. Yeah, you just gotta be real gentle with it coming down. And it'll fix all my problems and fuel me up and bomb me up. And then we're off. And so there you have it. That's how we converted a PC gamepad to a Commodore 64 joystick. Let us know if you've done something like this before on your own in the comments below.